to the 561 this week. Yes, sir. Let's break down Palm Beach County athletes. Well, like you said, Tony, we're in the 561, which is the area code for Palm Beach County. We're here at Duffy's. I'm excited, Tony. We got a lot of good stuff on oh, schedule man. here tonight. We got some great kids. We got the dynamic quarterback, Quad Martin out of Park Vista High School. This is an amazing guy. I think he's like uh, only lost one or two games in his whole entire high school career since he's been wow. the starter at Park Vista High School, that's Quad Martin. Then we have the outstanding quarterback from Palm Beach Gardens and J.P. Caruso. He's committed to Appalachian State. App State just an outstanding quarterback. His team, I believe, is going to the playoff in Palm Beach Garden Gators up there in Palm Beach. And then we'd also have, have uh, Kamar Downing. Kamar Downer from Palm Beach Central High School. He's an amazing athlete, Tony. He does everything. He missed everything. He put me in the mind of Brandon Power at wow. Deerfield Beach. He's in that mindset. He's that kind of player. He's that kind of explosive player. He's, I mean, he just make plays. He's played wide receiver. He played quarterback. He played defensive back for his football team. He does anything Coach Harris asked him to do over there at Palm Beach Central to win football games. So I'm fired up, Tony. We got a great show online tonight. We got Harrison right there with the Boca Tone, the outstanding linebacker number nine. Just make plays. I think you got something special for him oh, yeah. tonight. Tony. Oh, so I'm yeah. excited about the 561 is in the house tonight here at Duffy's. We got a great crowd. I'm fired up about it. Tony, we got some great football players here. Stay tuned here as Duffy as me and Mr. Dave B of the Sun Sentinel Breakdown, the brackets in Palm Beach County. Dave, hey, let's get into a little bit of breaking down the Palm Beach County brackets in the 8A9 and 8A10 district. Let's talk a little bit about Palm Beach Gardens and Seminole Ridge and Jupiter. What could be the outcome out of that? Bracket? Well, clearly Gardens is already the district champ. They did that a long time ago by beating Seminole Ridge and Jupiter earlier in the season. The key to that one now is who's going to be the runner-up again, Seminole Ridge or Jupiter. I think Seminole Ridge is a much better team. They're well coached by a former Hollywood Hills coach down here, okay. and, and Scott Barnwell. So I think his experience with the coach having been in a playoff situation I mean, Jupiter has not been the strength of the county since Charlie Pearson left. Mm -hmm. So I think when they match up on Friday, I think Selma Ridge will be the clear winner here and be the district runner-up. Now let's head to that 10-8A uh, district when you got Park Vista, Palm Beach Central, Boca, and St. Lucius. What's some of the scenarios that could come out of that district? Well, it can be a clear result if the right teams win. Of course, okay. if, if Park Vista wins, then they're the district champion, and then Palm Beach Central backs up a little bit, has Boca, and, and runs into a three-way tie there with it. But however, if Palm Beach Central wins, Park Vista is an automatic qualifier to sit in second place, and Palm Beach Central, with their running game, will be the district champion, and you don't have to worry about any Monday playoff. Now, we talk about the Monday playoffs, if it plays out that way. Let everyone know how, what kind of playoff system that is that takes place if it takes place on Monday. Well, if there's a three-way playoff for, let's say, second place in the district, mm -hmm. the team with the best overall record will be the host. Okay. Therefore, they get the number one seed in the playoff system. But the other two teams, second and third, would then play one quarter. The winner of that would then play the team that was the district champ or, the, okay. let's say, the number one seed in there. Now, depending on what happens there, if, for instance, if Park, if, say if it was uh, Boca, Boca, let's say, okay. or Park Vista, and they win, then they'll be automatically the, the, the team that would advance. However, if, the, if Boca were to win, mm -hmm. then obviously having beaten the other team, then they would move on and Park Vista would be out. So the advantage there is get that number one seed, <laughs> you'll have to play one quarter, win That's it. and winning you're in. That's it. You heard here at Duffy's Raw Recruit Network, we breaks down Palm Beach County's brackets. Welcome, I'm with one of the most exciting Palm Beach County athletes around. I'm with Mr. Downey. Give me a little bit about what type of game, what type of player are you? Uh, type of player I am, you know, I'm really versatile. You know, whatever a coach needs on the field, that's what I am. You know, it needs a DB, it needs a quarterback, a receiver, whatever he needs. You know, I'm just, I'm just there to pick up, you know, pick up the whatever, you know, whatever position needed. 
And, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a real big team player. You know, I'm not a type of player, you know, I want this, I want that, I want mine. You know, it's, it's always good to have like a little want in life, but, you know, it's always good to be a, a team player too. You know, it gets you, it gets you real far in life. So, um, you know, it's like a lot of people actually, you know, like how do you handle like, you know, like all the fame right now, you know, like all the hype. And um, I just pretty much I just handled it by, you know, saying I'm I'm glad that is happening. You know, that's what I wanted. You know, I need to get my name out there and I needed the publicity, you know, to like um, get these the big offers that, I, that I'm striving for. And, um, you know, a lot of schools have been interested in me, you know, like big name schools, you know, Miami, FSU, you know, like Nebraska, a lot of those schools. You know, I'm just waiting for the marketing period for them to talk, you know, and uh, just keeping my, my, my options open. You know, yeah. You speak on being a team player. Yeah. And I tell people there's a lot when it comes to being a team player. What yeah. goes into it? Oh, yeah. Being willing to do whatever it yeah. takes for that win. There's very few kids that you can say that will sacrifice whatever it takes oh, yeah. for the better good of a team. Yeah. And you clearly resemble that. I got a chance to see a highlight tape, and I was speaking on how strong your arm is and how quick and explosive you are. I train guys all the time and I see it. That's your on the field stuff. Yeah. You have a special story that a lot of people don't know. Yeah. And, and, and when I heard your story, it reminds me of a guy, Michael Irvin, yeah. who went through a similar situation such as you. People don't know your, your story. And it's so hard to understand how a young man like you stay focused on the football field when there are so many other things that can pull you in. Yeah. How do you stay focused? What I mean by that? Let's get into a little bit of, of some of the things that have happened to you within the past years. You know, like um, with my mom being gone, you know, my dad, you know, passing away at the age of like four, four or five years old, you know, it just, it didn't really um, bring me down to the point where I didn't know like um, if I wanted to play sports anymore or it, what, if I wanted to like drop out of school or anything crazy like that. It pretty much just motivated me to like um, pick myself up and you know like one day I was just I was just in the mirror and like I think it was like when I was in eighth grade and um, that's when I just transferred to Emerald Cove Middle School and you know my mom was like you know there's gonna be kids there that you know you never met before. And um, you're just going to have to just go on the path of life, you know, just get your work done, get whatever you want done. You're going to have to do it yourself and get it done, you know, be, be really independent, you know. And I, and I just took that word. And ever since then, you know, a lot of kids like in school say I don't talk a lot, but pretty much like I just walk around school to get stuff done. You know, I don't I don't have time to like sit gossip, you know, all that, you know, bell rings, go straight to class, get your work done. Yep, bell, end of the, end of the day bell rings. Go to practice, get the work in that I need, whatever I need to learn I need to learn from for the team that were playing that week, you know, um, and learn the offense, you know, work up and then again, you know, get even more chemistry with my team, you know, because being the quarterback now, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot that I have to, you know, pick up with. You know, a lot of people look at me different in school now, you know. They say, Oh, that's the starting quarterback, you know. And it's a lot of pressure, but then again, like I said, I I, I like the pressure, you know, uh, that's what I live for. To be in the moment, you know, yeah. Your so. pressure off the field is a great pressure, more than the pressure on the field. So I'm quite sure that makes that pressure on the field a lot easier. I wish you the best of luck because it's guys like you yeah. that keeps this game and keeps life in perspective. I'm pleasured to have sat on this stage with this young man because this young man's life story is a story that needs to be told in one day. He's going to be giving you that life story about him because it was a pleasure to join you here, man. Pleasure to meet you. I'm going to, I want to set some things up with you, and I'm going to set some things up with you once we these cameras off. Okay. And, I'm, and I'm going to set you up with that, man. So, Thank you. Hey, man. My pleasure. I'm here with none other than Harrison. The Hitman. How do you get a name like the Hitman? Uh, well, first off, I play linebacker. You know, linebacker's position of attitude. And, uh, you know, you got to assert yourself on the field. You know, you got to be a leader of the defense. And, you know, I lead through example. So I'm always flying around, making tackles, and just being violent wherever I am. Now, you're in a situation that 
depends on the outcome of Park Vista and Palm Beach Central. Yes, sir. Who are you rooting for? Uh, Park Vista, you know, because that will keep us alive to play on Monday. So. That, that gives you hope yeah. that there's a possibility that if Park Vista beats Central, hey, we got a chance here. Yes, sir. We're still in this thing. Now, you call yourself the hitman. Have you, have you severed some bones? Have you, do you make opponents shiver when you line up against them? Uh, I, I want them to watch film of me uh, when preparing for us, you know, and say, you know, block that guy, you know, don't get, don't be around him. <laughs> so now, yeah. say, now we said this in there. If, which one of these teams on this bracket, on your bracket, you're looking at a bracket with Park Vista, Park Beach Central, Santa Lucia's, John Allen, Spanish River, in that bracket, which team did you have the most tackles? In? Uh, I think Palm Beach Central, I had 16 or 17. So, yeah, that was definitely the most. How many sacks did you have? Uh, I believe just one. Just one? Mm -hmm. What linebacker playing in the NFL you remind, that reminds you of you or you remind of you? Uh, I think Sean Lee from the Cowboys. Okay. He's a, he's, a, he's a great linebacker. He flies around. Uh, he's very sideline to sideline. Uh, he makes his presence known. And you say that, and it's ironic. I spent two weeks training the Dallas Cowboys because I am a trainer. So I had the opportunity to go out and train, so I met him. And I'm going to tell you something. Stand up a little bit. Stand up a little bit. He really is not much bigger than you. He's probably out of here. He's not that, yeah, I mean, he's not that big. Now, if I'm a guy from Park Vista and you getting ready to tackle me to make the difference, how do you show me what show me what you how you come in, how you tackle the guy? Well, I don't want to hurt you, but yeah, don't hurt me. Don't, don't, don't hurt me at all. Ball, ball's in uh, ball. your right hand. Okay. I'm I'm getting low. Okay. My, well, I'm coming from here. Uh -huh. I put my leg forward. Okay. Get low. Uh -huh. Head on the ball and drive up. And I'm picking you up and I'm slamming you on the ground. You heard it. <laughs> you heard it here from the hit man himself. Watch out. Playoffs. Let's get into a three-way so I can be there and watch the hit man do his thing. Hello, I'm here with the outstanding, amazing quarterback, Palm Beach Garden quarterback, J.P. Caruso. He's committed to App State. J.P., it's great to have you on the show. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get you on earlier, but uh, we finally got around to you. You guys winning. He's a busy man. I tell you what, now, J.P., you can really sling the football. Thank you. How do you guys start playing quarterback? Tell us about that. Uh, actually, uh, Mark Burnell, ja uh, old Jaguars quarterback, he's a yes. family friend. Oh, wow. And I, I was always around him because I was always up in Jacksonville, you know, visiting them. And he got me into playing quarterback, and ever since, I just fell in love with playing quarterback. I want to be like him. Wow, wow, now standing this shows. I mean, you do a lot of good things with your legs. Yes, uh, you do a lot of good things with your arm strength. It's just amazing. You do a lot of great things. Now, from a mental aspect, you do a great job of that, too. Tell yes, us a little about Palm Beach Garden offense. Is that like a predetermined offense? You know you go, where you're going to go with the ball, JP, before the snap, or you kind of, as you're going through your progression, that's when you figure out where you want the football? Yeah, it's a spread offense. We have a lot of zone reads that I do, and uh, no predetermined anything like oh, that. Wow. You know, I just read coverages and put the ball uh, where, the, where the best spot to put it. So, yeah, yeah, right. yeah nothing's predetermined. Yeah, oh, great. So you do a great job. So this guy well prepared from a mental standpoint, physically. JP is one of the best football players, high school quarterbacks there is, in, there is in this great state of Florida. JP, going up. Now, you guys, are you district champs yet, right? Yes, sir. You're yeah, district champs already. You clinched the district champs. Congratulations to yeah. you and Coach Freeman over there at Garden. Yes, sir. Does an outstanding job. How do you think you guys can go in this playoff? I feel like we can go farther than we went uh, since since 2005, since they won states. I feel like we can make a real good run, uh, you know, at least make it to the third round and then see what happens from there, you know, just, just you know, keep working hard and just see, see what happens, you know. What's special about Palm Beach Gardens? Remember my last high school game I played, I was quarterback, all American quarterback in okay. Boca High School. My last high school game I can remember we lost at Gardens, at Gardens. Yeah. That was my final game. <laughs> that was my final game in my yeah. high school career. And Palm Beach Garden is a special place. What makes Palm Beach Garden so special to you? What leaving Palm Beach Garden now your senior year, obviously going to App State. Yes, sir. What will you tell people or your teammates, your juniors, your freshmen, and sophomores, guys that's going to be there? What kind of advice will you give those guys 
uh, being a Gator, uh, uh, to carry on the tradition, the tradition yeah. that Palm Beach Garden has. Just keep playing uh, for the guy next to you, you know, at Palm Beach Gardens we're a family, it's not about one guy, you know, one guy being successful or anything, we all want to be successful, we all want to win games together. Uh, anyway, anyhow, if, if you got to, you know, just be a guy on the sideline, you know, putting in work on practice or being someone who has to make a play at a critical time, it's just, you know, we're a brotherhood and we're a family, so that's about it. That's great. Now, I see sometimes in the game, I was at your Park Vista game, I was at, um, I want to say your Bell, Bell Glade game against Bell Glade against Glade Central. Yes, you played Glade Central, yes, right? Sir. I think I was at that game. Uh, what is about Palm Beach Garden? I see you get on the guy, your leadership ability. You'll get on your receiver sometimes, yeah. run a wrong route, or drop the ball or something. I, I know you get on them. Tell us about your leadership qualities. What, what about you as a leader that you like best about JP Caruso? <laughs> what, 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 what is your best qualities? Well, I like uh, I like to think that I make everybody play as uh, most as as their top potential. You know, the best they're able to play. Every play, go full out and snap. Remember all the right reads. Remember all the you know, go full out every play. Don't take any play off and you know just play as hard as you can man i tell you what appreciate your hat coming yes, on sir. Dude, you're the, you're the real deal <laughs> thank you i appreciate it that's jp caruso palm beach garden outstanding quarterback here with Derek crudix we'll be right back all right i'm Derek crudix i'm back here at pop vista high school pop vista quarterback paul martin the man of men great athletes play a lot of different positions for Coach Brian Dodds over there at Park Vista High School. Park, great. Pleased to have you. Thank you. Uh, all right, you got your teammates here with you, right? Yes, sir. All right, who, who is this guy, Quad? Talk to us a little bit. Dalton Bartman. Uh, he plays free safety, quarterback, receiver. He does it all for us. He's an all around player, and we love to have him on the field with us. All right, what's the guy behind you here? Uh, Demetrius Bentley, running back. He blocks well, run the ball well. You know, he's, he's all around back, so it's another good player to have back there with us. And my main man, CJ. CJ Armstrong, linebacker, fullback. He's a load. When he runs the ball, it's, it's hard to bring him down. So when you see him in the backfield, be ready for a load. Well, it's great to have the park distance uh, forwards here. Glad to have you guys here. There's no doubt about it. One of the best football programs there in the state of here in the state of Florida. I had a chance to uh, coach uh, years ago with Coach Dodge, just an outstanding coach. Does a lot of great things. Can't brag enough. Talk enough about uh, Dalton Bartman, outstanding young man, great football player. Thank you. How many kickoffs you ran back so far this year? Uh, one so far, but he does a lot. He's a goal line, coming in the goal line for the awesome quad mind, just does some great things. And CJ here, CJ Armstrong had an opportunity to coach with his dad. Just an outstanding player, outstanding young man. And Mr. Bitley over here just does everything for a part of Mr. Kobe. Now let's talk a little bit about, we're gonna, you guys got a big game coming up this Friday night versus Pops, I mean, Palm Beach Central. Great game. Playoff implications on the line. You can win the district, or you guys could be just going to playoffs. Talk to us a little bit about that, Quad. I mean, um, you know, this game Friday is is a big game for us because you know last year they came into our house and they they put a hurt on us, and uh, wow. we we really want to use that as motivation and to wow. come out and do what we got to do in this game Friday. So uh, you know, Friday is is definitely a game to watch. Wow, wow! I'll be there. The whole Royal Crew staff will be there. I think Mr. Kurland will be there, the producer, he'll be there as well. Barton, yes, big game. Yeah. Very big, biggest of the year. Yeah. Biggest game of the year for Park Vista. This is the biggest game of the year for you guys? Yes, yeah, most the, biggest game. The biggest game is a must win for Park Vista Cro Cobra. Those guys come out, they can eat a lot of chicken wings too, don't forget about that. Yeah. I just sent a picture to Coach Dodds, you guys eating all the wings, and uh, he'll be happy about you guys have a tummy ache tomorrow so you can't practice. Or quite, let me ask you a little bit. Let me ask you a little bit about recruiting now. That's what I do. We the high school recruiting, sir. We cater to all the colleges. What you think is your best position for us of going to the next level that you can play? And they might knock you on your height as a quarterback. What you feel like is your best position? I mean, to be honest, wherever they put me and they want me to play, that'll be my best position. I don't care where I'm at on the field. You know, I'll go out and play guard if I have to. So anywhere the coaches need me, that's where I play. Great, great, great attitude to have. What about you, my man? Something more on the offensive end, but like I'm an athlete, so you can just put me anywhere and I'll do my thing. We know CJ is just a backer. This young man, Mr. <laughs> Bentley, can do it all. He can uh, just a run and hit type of guy. CJ is a run and hit type of guy. Let me let me ask you another question. Let's talk a little about Park Vista High School. What as a senior, you leaving Park Vista? You guys are leaving Park Vista. 
what would you tell your teammate now that you're leaving the program to do some of the things that you feel like you could have done better as a senior? Well, they won't make the mistakes that you have. What would you do better if you had to do it over again as a senior? I mean, you know, just for the for the younger guys, you know, never never to give up. You know, always finish through everything, through drills, sprints. Even when you're running, just get water. You know, make sure you sprint to it, never give up, and show the coaches that you want to be there and you want to play football. Right, about you. Not being like selfish and one, like getting your own, about the whole team and doing it together. That's Park Vista, Park Vista High School. Just outstanding football players here at Park Vista. So proud of the program there. It's a great program. It's a joy going out to watch the structure of the practice at Park Vista and how Coach Dodd run things over there, run a tight ship. Just enjoy it. You got these great young men, just grooming young men. And uh, Coach Dodd is a man of Christ. This is an outstanding young man, a great football coach. You guys, it's been a pleasure. It's a privilege to play for Coach Brian Dodds. And we thank you so much for coming out here to Duffy's in the Royal Recruit Show. And we'll be right back for the wrap up. Well, it's been a nice, exciting evening here at Duffy's. We was in the 5-6-1 area code. We're going to go back to the 9-5-4 because we got to break down one big game. Me and Dave, Sun Sentinel. Dave, let's get into this Cardinal Givens American Heritage. Last year, that game got out of control. This year, Cardinal Givens is a little bit more on track than they were last year. American Heritage, Cardinal Givens, Friday night, head for a class. Give me your breakdown. Well, it's a combination of two things. Heritage running game, Cardinal Givens passing game. Now, the question is who will have the advantage here? <laughs> Of course, Heritage would like to keep the ball on the ground with their uh, great running game with Sony Michelle. The more they keep it on the ground, the less they keep the, you know, the Cardinal Givens passing game off the field. However, both teams have the capability to strike, be a quick strike to offense. What I like about Gibbons is, like you said, with Bender at quarterback, has three good targets to throw to. I think the key to this game will be not only, not so much the offenses, but which defense will step up and shut down the other side. Whoever is able to do that. I think will be the winner and win that district. You heard it here. I'm taking Cardinal Gibbons by by twelve. By how many? Twelve. Well, I think Heritage. Bold prediction. I think Heritage's the difference. I think between the two is that Heritage has played a very difficult schedule. Mm -hmm. And I talked to Mike Rumpf at the beginning of the season. And he purposely did that to prepare them for what counts next: going down to Dade County, playing the playoffs. I think because of the toughness that they put together throughout the entire season will be the difference on the field because Gibbons, to be honest with you, hasn't played that same schedule. So the advantage of that, I think, will be the difference. I think Heritage will win this one probably around eight to 10 points. You heard it. I'm going with Cardinal Gibbons. Dave's going with American Heritage. We're wrapping up here from Duffy's. Go Chiefs. <laughs>